We're going to use the if function to go ahead and help us figure out how much overtime different people have in our company. And quite simply, the if is a logical function. And what it does is it's basically a conditional statement. If this condition is true, perform this action. If it's false, do something else. So let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to go right to our formulas page. I've already selected the cell where I wanted my formula to be. And let's start by, I told you it was a logical function. It's up here under our categories. Let's choose that and you'll see it's the third one, if. And it opens up our function arguments window. Now, the logical test. This is where we're going to put in our conditional statement. If and we're going to put in h4. If that value in h4 is greater than 40, because of course anything over 40 hours is overtime, if that is true, we want them to do this. And I'm going to put in a simple formula, h4 minus 40. So what that would do is, and we'll see it here with 4875, it'll take that number and subtract 40 and give me 875 as my overtime hours. Value if false. Now, because I don't really want it to do anything, I can leave it blank, or what I'm going to do is just put in a zero, because then that'll go ahead and give me a zero amount here. So let's choose OK, and we see that Obviously, this person had no overtime, so the OT is zero. Let's go ahead and do the rest. And now we can see everybody who had some overtime hours. And that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Let's go ahead and let's do one that's a little bit more complex now. Let's now calculate using the if function, uh, calculate how much the gross pay is for our people. Now last time I went up here, this time let's go to insert function. And you'll see because I went to the logical category last, it's going to open up here to the logical category and we see the same order. But remember, we have lots of other categories. But we're going to stick to logical and the if. Now, this time, we are going to say if i4 is greater than 0, and it's not there, it's false, but if it is, we want it to go ahead and take that value in i4 and multiply it times the hourly rate, which in this case is 924, then multiply it again times 1.5, or one and a half times, because they get time and a half in our company for overtime. Then we have to add in their normal hourly rate. So we will add a plus, and that will simply be H4 times G4, or the hourly rate. Now, the value if false is going to be even simpler because that is just their hours times their rate. Now in this case, they were the same either way. But if I go ahead and move down, look at that. Let's go ahead and let's open that formula up. And we see that he had 510 dollars and four cents. Well, I guess if you rounded it up, it would be five cents in regular pay. And then the total was 647 and 37 cents rounding up. That is two examples of using our if function. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.